here at the Grim Life Collective, we have a little bit of a fascination with the movie The Shining. And what I mean by that, our goal here at this channel, one of our many goals, is to seek out every location for the movie The Shining, Stanley Kubrick's The Shining, and visit them and capture them on camera, which is what brings us to this building. Just like a lot of places here in Hollywood, this place has seen its fair share of movies being filmed here. For instance, 2009 Star Trek, there's a big fight scene, a big bar fight scene that took place in the bar inside this building. But we're here because in 1980, a movie came out called The Shining. Now, do you remember the gold room scene, Lloyd's Bar, where Jack Nicholson is sitting at the bar and he talks to Lloyd, the bartender? Well, after everything was done filming, they came here to do the pickup shots. Now, just a heads up in preparation for this, Jessica and I both watched The Shining quite a few different times the past couple of days to try to see if we can notice a difference between what they shot in England and what they shot here. We couldn't notice a difference at all. Now, I guess you can chalk it up to how much of a perfectionist Stanley Kubrick actually was. As far as I know, we're the first people ever to go inside this building with a camera and try to document this. This place is usually pretty tight-lipped, pretty off-limits, but we reached out to them earlier and they were kind enough to let us in there to document it because, like I said, we're slightly obsessed with the movie The Shining. Eh, is what it is. Now, this place has undergone a lot of changes over the years, so because of that, I can't guarantee that we're going to be able to line up shot for shot, scene for scene. If anything, at least we'll be able to stand in Lloyd's Bar from The Shining. Well, the pickup shots. Right now we're just waiting for our contact to meet us out here. Just look at the doors of this place. Now I'm not mistaken, this building was completed in 1921. And just imagine all the famous actors that have been through here, right? I mean, th this place has so much history. Baby girl, I'm not gonna lie. I feel a little underdressed. This place is some yeah. serious art deco from the 20s. Now trust me when I tell you this, we could do countless videos here from ghost stories to old school celebrities coming here playing poker and drinking. Shirley Temple was here, Marilyn Monroe was here, Howard Hughes. One of his last public appearances was here at the Hollywood American Legion. But what we came here for is this bar down here in the basement in the very back. This was the gold room. This was Lloyd's bar. Now right over here at the very end. All right, I got chills. Now, obviously just looking at it right now, doesn't really look like much. We kind of have to walk you through it. Now, if you remember outside, I mentioned that Jessica and I watched the movie The Shining again today, a couple different times, especially that scene, in Lloyd's bar there in the gold room between Lloyd and Jack Nicholson's character. And we were unable to discern what was actually overseas on the set and what was here. But if you really think about it, you can tell almost immediately. Now, of course, over time, things change. Renovations need to happen. But pretty much right where Jessica is sitting, right at that spot at the bar, is where Jack Nicholson was sitting in the movie The Shining when he was talking to Lloyd, looking directly into the camera and pretty much losing his mind. Now, here's the thing. I'm gonna tell you how you can tell the difference between what they shot on set and what they shot here in Hollywood as Jack Nicholson is looking directly at the camera and he's talking, look behind him. You'll see the scenery is slightly out of focus. The lights, the candles, nothing flickers. Everything is static, nothing moves. That's what was filmed here.
Hi, Lloyd. A little slow tonight, isn't it? <laughs> Hi, Lloyd. A little slow tonight, isn't it? And that means Lloyd would have been standing against the bar like this with bottles behind him. It's a creepy scene. Yes, it is, Mr. Torrance. What will it be? When it comes to The Shining, only that scene was filmed here. The rest of it was on a set that Kubrick and his people built. Now, before we leave, there's a few things that I want to talk about from that scene that you may not know. Again, remember, next time you watch it, look behind Jack Nicholson. You'll notice how it doesn't move and it's blurry. That's because it was a screen. It was filmed right here. The other thing being, uh, when he sits down and he talks to Lloyd, he asks him for a bourbon. And clearly, Lloyd hands him a bottle of Jack Daniels. And another thing, and this is kind of kind of funny if you think about it, each time they show Jack Nicholson sitting there with a glass in his hand, one scene it has ice, the next scene it doesn't. One scene it has ice, the next scene it doesn't. A lot of people think that Kubrick did that on purpose. He was very meticulous. He was a, a perfectionist about everything. Some said that, yes, he was a great director, but he would make an even better cinematographer. The rest of the ballroom in The Shining is known as the Gold Room. And of course, that was filmed on a set that they built. This is what the room looks like here, where they did the pickup shots for Lloyd's Bar. It's beautiful, don't get me wrong. But it doesn't have, well, it does have that 1920s Art Deco feel to it, but not like Kubrick's version, Kubrick's vision. This place is gorgeous. Like everything about it. Before we came down here to the bar, we actually had a tour of this place. And I'm telling you what, there is a lot of history here. So now that we got that covered, let's head throughout the rest of the American Legion and talk about some of the other things that were filmed here, as well as some of the ghosts and some of the celebrities that stood in this very room and other places here. Leaving Lloyd's Bar, the first room that we come to, is another bar that's over here that is just absolutely gorgeous. And one of Jessica's favorite movies is a Star Trek, which came out in 2009. There's a big fight scene that happened right here. Pretty much, actually, right where Jessica's standing is where uh, Captain Kirk got laid out. <laughs> this is beautiful. On the back wall in this bar, there's original, I don't know what you call them, posters? Papers, pictures posted on the wall here. Now, of course, renovations, things change. But for the most part, the building has remained the same. This is still the poker room today. Now that wall that you're looking at on the right-hand side of your screen, that wasn't here. Instead, this was all one big open area. Now, like I said, it still is the poker room. But there's a, a ghost story here. Two people actually died in this room in a late night poker game. They're sitting right at this table. Two people broke in came in here and killed them and got away with the, the money. And supposedly they still haunt the place. Now walking through this place, you do feel like you're walking back in time. Even with all the renovations. I mean, look at this movie theater. It's so quiet in here. Now this movie theater here, uh, it's the crown jewel of this place. They renovated it rel relatively recently, but they do hold movie premieres and showings in here. Man, this is gorgeous. One thing that even really interested me, one of my favorite Hollywood movies is Tarantino's Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. And they actually had the cast and crew screening here. Um, I think just recently they had the new season of Better Call Saul, the premiere here. You kind of get the feeling like you're in an old church.
It's so quiet. I feel like my breathing is too loud. When we came into this room on our tour, I asked about the seats. There's different name plates on the back of the seats and people who donate money. I think it's like $1,000. You can buy a seat here in this theater and the money goes towards the American Legion. Can't do it right now, but I feel like it's something Jessica and I should do under the Grim Life Collective name. Can you imagine seeing a movie here? I'd come. I'd come. They also have a drive-in out back. Who would have thought? Wherever I come, I've had luck. It's come my way. Wherever I go, hard luck. Is that it stay? Good luck never stays a day. A bad luck's always coming my way. 